Once we have a model instance, we could manually manipulate allocations and get feedback on the constraints and metrics. What we would like is to have the computer automatically find an allocation that is in some sense optimal. Going back to our simple example, we can imagine an allocation as a mapping of consumers to space. There are many possible mappings. In fact, for this simple problem, there are about a thousand distinct allocations. We could easily calculate each of these, throw out the ones that don't meet our constraints, and pick the remaining one that has the lowest composite metric. If we look at the problem we have with roughly 4,000 people in 4,000 spaces, the resulting number of permutations is enormous. Just to get a handle on this number, here's an estimate of the number of grains of sand in all the world's beaches, or the number of atoms in the observable universe. Obviously, no amount of computation can ever brute force an answer here. What we need is a method that gives us a very good result in a reasonable amount of computational time. We've divided the search into two parts. The first part is a constraint solver that takes an allocation that has violated one or more constraints and finds a solution in the same neighborhood that satisfies all the constraints. The design is interesting because we needed a framework that is extensible, so the process needs to work for constraints we haven't yet imagined. The second part of the search is a greedy heuristic that takes the most direct route from a given constraint solution to a constrained local optimum. It does this by iterating over a priority queue of consumers using an efficient local first search. The solution that we get is a local, not a global optimum. Starting from the current allocation at the center, we can see how this process works. Note that overall the current allocation looks reasonable. People are generally near others from their organization and near their technical areas, but we can see some fragmentation in the inefficient use of space. So there are definite areas where we can make some progress. As the animation proceeds, we can see that it is making some progress by consolidating space without disrupting synergy. So the solution that we get is reasonably good, but there are areas where large changes may lead to a better solution. Another possibility is to start from a random allocation. This is a little more difficult to follow with your eyes because of the large amount of change occurring, so I'll suggest that you pick one area, say the building with the pink lab towards the bottom left. As the animation runs, you'll notice people from the associated organization migrate into this facility and towards the second floor, finally filling the large open area. So this solution has the similar property that we have good synergy with the smallest organizational units, but we have a lot of issues where large-scale changes might improve the higher-level synergy and co-location with technical space. Both of the solutions we have seen have good ideas. What we would like to do is take the good ideas from each and make them fit together. By evaluating the metrics per consumer in each solution, we can create a new solution that tries to combine the best of both. Doing this inevitably results in a solution that doesn't meet the constraints and may not initially look better. But through constraint solving and reapplying the greeting heuristic, we have a viable alternative. Combine this with a progressive filtering algorithm, and we can often find improvements to any local optimum. Feeding the process a stream of random solutions, it can integrate progressively small, smaller ideas into an improving final solution. If we evaluate the metrics for our current space allocation, we find that the combined metrics are around 25 million. If we apply the greedy heuristic alone, requiring just a couple of minutes, the resulting allocation has a combined metric of 15 million. And if we run that through the meta heuristic over about 24 hours, the resulting solution is about 11 million, and the rate of improvement is generally very low. There are several areas of research we are currently pursuing. The first is alternative search methods, including population-based and hierarchical meta heuristics. Specifically, we are working with operations research faculty at William & Mary on extending the greedy heuristic with taboo search. The current distance model is Euclidean between the room and building centroids with a fixed inner floor distance. We would like to be able to model actual routing derived distances to improve the solutions. A very interesting area is social networks, where we see many similar types of networks appear to follow a power law or scale-free structure. In these networks, we see that most nodes have few connections, but some nodes may have many. In our case, this would imply that some people within the organization are critical pathways for communication. While the code fully supports technical space, there are a lot of very specific requirements that need to be mapped. The visualization components are largely complete and working, as well as the optimization components. From these components, several early analyses were produced, including a look at both large-scale long-term and small-scale short-term exercises. Recently, the development of data preparation tools was completed, 
and the current focus is on developing a web-based interface that allows for both manual and automated planning. 